Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today it's time for a brand new game to pick my TBR. If you just want to watch the TBR, I'm going to put a timestamp right here so you can just skip to that. But I wanted to explain why I'm doing this first, if you've been following me, if you've been watching my other TBR videos. So the way that I was doing it before was for the M&Ms to pick actual books from my bookshelf for me to read. And sometimes I'm just, I was just not in the mood to read a book. And again, if you've been following me, you know that I was not reading the books that the M&Ms were picking for me. So I wanted to change that because I really have fun playing the game, but I also want to read the books that I'm picking every month. If you've been here for even longer, you know that last year I had a type of prompts that the M&Ms would pick, but I didn't have as many books in my bookshelf, so I couldn't always pick books from my bookshelf. So I, I was always reading e audiobooks or ebooks and not going through the books that I actually own. And also the prompts were a little bit limiting and it was not as fun and I, it was honestly very complicated because I had to film it twice. So it was not working. So this year, in the beginning of the year, I had the idea of picking actual books so I would actually go through the books on my bookshelf. It didn't work. And as the months passed, I was watching some amazing TBR videos that I have been watching for many, many months since probably two years ago, some of them. And I got inspired all over again to create a new TBR where I can actually pick cool prompts and pick cool books. So the people who inspired me the most for this was definitely Cody from Cody's Book Corner with her Wheel of TBR. I have a lot of prompts here that I borrowed from her. <laughs> Uh, her channel is going to be in the description. All of the channels that I mentioned is going to be in the description of every of my TBR videos because again, they were, I was very inspired by them and I think you should go check them out. Other than Cody, I was also very inspired by Jade from JD Ray Reads. She does a Trivial Pursuit type of TBR, the TBR Pursuit, and it's just so much fun. And she, again, she has a lot of very cool prompts that I enjoy so much watching. And also Becca from Becca and the Books with Bookopoly that I think everyone knows. If you don't, really check the link in the description because her TBR game is so much fun. And those were the three that inspired me the most. So like I said, they are going to be in the description of all my TBR videos as inspirations because they are awesome and you should check them out. I'm going to go through each of the prompts and explain how the game works. But again, if you want to skip this and just see the actual TBR, you can go to the timestamp that's in the screen right now. But before I explain, I'm going to insert a clip that just shows how I randomized the prompts to be on the board. Okay, so I hope you can hear me well and see the board well. Uh, I have here a lot of prompts that I wrote. Uh, I need 36 to fill this board, but I have more than this. This is my favorite, probably. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to mix them a little bit and then just put them in the spaces and we'll see if the cats will want to play with them as I start to put them on the board. There we go, so we have the 36 prompts. I don't know which ones were not picked, but we'll find out in the videos as we go. And let's see what we have here. There we go, we have our starting prompts. I'm going to glue them to the board and I'll see you back in the normal video. So the first one is adaptation, which means to read a book that was adapted to a movie or a TV show or something like that. Second one is maps, read a book that has a map in it. Magic has magic in it. Gifted is a book that was gifted to me. YA, any YA title, thriller, any thriller. So I have some very easy prompts and some that are more complicated. Uh, not new author is to read a book from an author that I've read before. New release, uh, I'm gonna try to see one of the newest releases that I have on my bookshelf, but just something that was published in the last few months, hopefully. Uh, second chance is to try to finish a book that I haven't finished before. So a book either that I didn't have or I just didn't officially gave up on the book, but just stopped reading and never returned to it. So just giving a second chance to a book. Sci-fi, any sci-fi, any adult books, any fantasy novels, uh, any books with an animal in the cover. 
a translated book, so it can be one of the Brazilian books that I brought with me that are the Brazilian editions, but they were translated to Portuguese, or another book that I have that's from another author that doesn't write in English and it was translated to English. Uh, five star prediction. I have a video with my five star predictions. I'm gonna link that in the card so you can check that out. But any other book that I also predict that I'm going to give five stars to. Recent purchase, self explanatory. <laughs> buy a book, I'm going to buy a new book and read that. AZ title. So this one, I'm going to randomize a letter from A to Z. And that letter has to see, has to be the first letter of the title. That sounded more complicated than it should be. Uh, Outcrate is to read an Outcrate book. Four plus word title, a title that has more than four word, four more words. Canada is to read a book by a Canadian author. Cat pick, I'm going to put both of my cats to pick a book for me. So I'm going to select three or four books for them to pick from them. And I'm going to insert, insert a clip in the video. AZ author is the same for title, but the letter that I randomize is going to be the first name of the author or the last name of the author, the first letter of one of the names of the author. Hyped is a book that was hyped on booktube especially, or just hyped in general in the book community. Uh, LGBTQ+, a book that has that representation, one of those representations. Uh, high rating and low rating are books that uh, have a high or low rating on Goodreads, so it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily going to be the first book, the highest rated or the lowest rated, because it might be sequels that I haven't read the first one yet, so I'm going to go through the list and pick one of the first five or ten of the highest or lowest rating on Goodreads. I have all my own TBR in a shelf on Goodreads, so I can just go through that one. Uh, M&M color, I'm going to pick an M&M from the bag, and whatever color it comes up, it has to be in the cover of the book. Goodreads recommendation is I'm going to open Goodreads and scroll through it a little bit in the first book that shows up that I own or that I want to read and don't own yet, I'm going to pick that one to read. Pretty cover, I'll pick a book with a pretty cover. Classic, I'll read a classic. Instagram recommendation is the same thing but with Instagram. Short book and big book, so short would be like below 300 pages and big would be more than 500 pages. Old in TBR is a book that has been on my TBR for a long time. And One Wire Title is a book that has one word title. So as you saw on the clip that I inserted before, I have more prompts than what is here. So I put them in this Outcrate pencil holder and they are all here. So every time that I pick a prompt out of the board, I'm going to put a new one from the ones that I already have here. And if you have more recommendations of prompts that I can add to the board, please leave a comment because I want to have a lot to pick from. The ones that I have here are the, are just ones that I just thought of or that I ins got inspiration from one of the booktubers that I mentioned. So if you ev have even more than that, I would love to get some more inspiration because I need a lot of prompts for this board. So how does the game work? I have here my trusty bag of M&Ms. Let's open it. This was a disaster. I have here my bag of M&Ms and the way that the game works is that I'm going to pick one of one M&M and that M&M is going to be this color here on the top and then I'm going to pick a second a second M&M and it's going to be the one on the left. So I'm going to put an arrow as I go. Let's just do an example. This isn't this doesn't count yet. First one is yellow. So in that case, I'll pick this arrow here and put it here. And the second one would be yellow again. So that means that I'll pick this arrow and put it here. It's just the arrows is more for both of us, me and you, to follow what's going on. But it means that I would pick a five star prediction. That's pretty much it. And then I'm going to remove this card and put a new one. It's very simple. So I think I've said everything. Oh, actually I haven't. Uh, there are a few books that I want or I need to read for book clubs in the month of August and I'm going to try to fit them in the prompts as we go uh, and I'm going to pick five prompts. Hopefully I can fit the books there otherwise I'm going to have to read like nine books in August. But let's hope. So I'm going to pick five prompts and I think that's it. I'm going to tell you in the end which books or as we go in which books that are for the, prompt, for the book clubs or anything else that I want to read in August. If I forgot anything, if you still are confused about any part 
of this game, please leave a comment as well, asking me, letting me know, because it's just a lot to remember. <laughs> but let's start! And the first M&M is... Yellow, like the demonstration that I did. So we pick this arrow and we put it here. So it could be any of this prompts. Orange, okay. So that means... A second chance book. This actually works perfect because one of the books that I have to read in August for a book club is The Clocks by Agatha Christie and I have started it, I read almost half of it a while ago, maybe two or three years ago. I don't remember anything of it, but I stopped. I never finished it. It was probably because I don't like this format so much of the book, I don't know. But I don't remember anything, I don't even remember if I was enjoying it or not. But there we go, this is going to be the first book in my August TBR. And to replace Second Chance, we're going to... Let's shuffle it a little bit and pick something from the middle. It's Twitter poll, so I'm going to put a poll on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, that's your chance. Go to the description, the link is there. So I'm going to put a poll on Twitter for you to vote which book that I should read. Let's pick the second prompt. First m, &M is blue. And second, blue again. So that means Goodreads recommendation. So like I said, I'm going to scroll through Goodreads and pick the first book that I own or that I want to read. I'm going to grab my computer here because I use my phone to film. So this is what we have. Opening Goodreads. Okay, so it is customized to show me every friend that I follow, every person that I follow. So I'm going to scroll and Peter Pan, I don't have that. The Shadows, I don't have that. Peter Pan again, from Rufio to Zuko, I don't have that. Why I'm no longer talking to white people about race, burn our bodies down. Harry Potter 3, I'm not going to read Harry Potter right now. Uh, I don't own any of these. I've heard about them, most of them, but Nevermore. I'm not going to reread Nevermore right now, but if it was Wondersmith, I would totally read Wondersmith. What else? I've read Witchy. Final Empire. Just read Final Empire. Why couldn't it be the second one? December. When I tested it before, it worked better. I swear. Where dreams descend. Okay, so here we have a book that was posted by Melanie from Malchadiani and she reviewed Where Dreams Descend. She gave it three stars, but that's what I'm reading in August. I don't even know where it is. This is the second book on my TBR from a Goodreads recommendation from Melanie from Malchadiani, not necessarily that she recommended because she gave it three stars, but it's on Goodreads and that's what I'm going to read. This is the July, the June Alcray book, so I was supposed to read it in July, but I don't think I'll have time for that because July has been a struggle. But this is perfect. So to replace Goodreads Rack, let's shuffle a little bit and pick one from the middle. There. New author. So an author that I haven't read anything before. Let's pick the third book. First m, m is blue again. Second is... Orange. So it means that I am going to read an adult book. Like I said, it can be any adult book that I want in my bookshelf and I know exactly what I'm going for. The book that I'm going to read for the adult prompt is Hero of Ascension. The book that I'm going to read for the adult prompt is The Well of Ascension by Brendan Sanderson, which is the second book in the Mistborn trilogy. I read the first one in the beginning of this month, in July, 
and I can't wait to continue the series. So I'm very happy that I was able to fit here in this DVR. Two more books. Oh, we have to replace the prompt. It's my first time doing it. We'll get used to it. Let's shuffle a little bit. I didn't put the prompts that I removed today. I didn't put them in this pile here because I don't have as many prompts extra, so I don't want them to come up again. So again, if you have recommendations for more prompts that I can add, please leave a comment because I would love to add them here. Okay. Pick one from the second one. Brazilian book. So this means either an actual book by a Brazilian author that I have on my bookshelf or on Kindle or something, uh, or a book that I brought from with me from Brazil. Fourth book. Red. Okay, so we're going in the first column. Green. And we got Alcrate. I already picked an Alcrate book here. I should be putting here is somewhere you can see, right? It would make more sense. There, this is better. So I already have an upgrade book here, but now I have to pick an extra one. And I am going to get the July box, which has the book that I am planning to read in August. But I'm going to pick a new one because I want to challenge myself and I want to actually have all the five books to show you. The book that I'm going to pick is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. And like I said, this came on Alcrate before I was doing my Alcrate book and box series, so I wasn't reading the books as they arrived, so I haven't read this one yet. So this is going to the TBR. I'm actually excited to read this one, I've heard amazing things about it, and it's short enough that I'm not too worried. I know five books doesn't sound like a lot for a lot of other people who read like 10 books a month, and sometimes I do manage to read that many books, but only if it's like manga, Full Metal Alchemist, or, I don't know, like very short books. <laughs> but I can do this. This is looking great. And we're going to replace that one with... I can shuffle and you can't see it. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Pick one from the middle. What's this? 20th century. <laughs> so it's a book that was published in the 20th century. So before the year 2001. This is already the last book, and I'm honestly a little bit sad that the game is almost over, but let's pick the last book. Blue! Oh, I forgot to move the arrows, okay. So this goes to blue, and this goes back here. Green. Okay, A to Z, author. A to Z, author. So I'm going on Google, and we'll Google random ladder generator. Random ladder generator. So here, A is the first one, just as it's here, let's generate a ladder, and it has to be the first letter in the author's name, either the first name or the last name. Oh! I'm going to have to think about it a little bit. Or I can just look on Goodreads, right? Let's look on Goodreads. On TBR. And we are going to order by author. So, it's always the last name, but let's see if I have someone with O. I don't have an, a book I don't have any books by authors that the last name starts with O. And honestly, I don't think I have one that the first name is O either. Let me take a quick look before I give up on the letter O. I have one book, but I've read it already, which is Binti by Nadi Okorofor. So it starts with O, but I've read it. Okay, officially giving up on the letter O. Let's try a new one. Okay. 
generate you why does it make it so hard i honestly probably don't have one with the letter u either i don't have a last name and i probably don't have a first name so let's generate another letter z i don't have any unread with the letter z either let's try again h okay h is good probably right let's see on goodreads what i have with an h as a last name oh i have a bunch okay with the letter h the book that i picked was how to stop time by matt haig his last name starts in an h oh my god the books are hitting on my head and this is the Brazilian edition. I brought it from Brazil with me, so I'm using one that I could use for the Brazilian book, but it's fine. It's short again. I almost went with the easiest choice, which would be Full Metal, oh, Full Metal Alchemist, which the f her first name is with a, a letter H. But let's be honest, I'll probably read that before August. <laughs> so I picked this one, How to Stop Time. I've heard good things about it, not amazing things, but I've heard amazing things about the author. So I'm very curious to read this book by his. It's the first book that I've read by him and I, I've heard awesome things about it. I forgot to mention, but just to go through the synopsis of the books that I picked, uh, The Clocks is a murder mystery by Agatha Christie. There's a man who appears dead with a bunch of clocks around him, I think, from what I remember. Uh, Where Dreams Descend I've talked about it on my last Saw Crave book and box that the synopsis is honestly a little bit confusing. There are magicians, there is a circus type of thing, and there are people appearing dead also, so they have to figure out what's going on there. Uh, the Well of Ascension is the second book on The Mistborn, so I can't say much about it, but the first one is about Vin and Kelsier, and they're trying to overthrow the Lord Ruler who's been ruling the lands for over a thousand years. All the Stars and Teeth is about a girl who she has to prove her magic when time comes, when age comes, and something goes wrong, so she then has to go away and figure out what went wrong and what happened there. And How to Stop Time is about a man who doesn't die. He has lived for many, many years, and he keeps changing his identity to be safe so people don't know that he's been alive for many many years so that's it this is my tbr for the month of august i'm very excited because i was able to fit one of my book club picks the other one that i have to read this month and i'm not going to get to it and the one that i was very excited and two new ones that i wasn't expecting that i was going to read i am still going to read the book club from work book that we haven't picked yet but i think that's it after it so let me know what you thought of this and let me know what you thought of my new TBR game. If you have any suggestions, if you have any idea of new prompts, let me put the arrows back here. And the prompt that's going to go here, I'm going to pick on the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun because I for sure did. And I see you on the next one. Bye.